Samsung's Exynos processors have been lagging behind its Qualcomm Snapdragon variants for years, and it was way more evident this year with the Exynos 990 being so inferior to the Snapdragon 865 to the point that Samsung's executives ordered the use of the 865 in its home country, which was a first and kind of a disgrace to the Exynos department, because Samsung had always used its own chipset in its own country. Well, it turns out Samsung has learned from their mistakes and are about to dominate every other chipset in the Android space with its new Exynos 1000. It was previously expected that Samsung was going to use its custom GPU built on AMD's Radeon architecture in the Exynos 1000. But according to recent rumors, it turns out that's going to be reserved for 2022. But that doesn't mean the Exynos 1000 is going to perform terribly just like the Exynos 990. In fact, it's going to perform way better than expected and even outperform the Snapdragon 875. According to some information from Korean media, the early benchmark scores of both the Exynos 1000 and the Snapdragon 875 were leaked, and the 875 was tested on two devices, the Xiaomi Mi 11 and the Galaxy S21, and it got a single core score of 1159 on the Galaxy S21 and 1102 on the Xiaomi Mi 11, and the multi-core score was 4113 on the Galaxy S21 and 4000 2090 on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Now, this is where things get interesting. The Exynos 1000 had a single core score of 1302, which puts it on par with Apple's A13 Bionic while the Snapdragon 875 just slightly edges out the A12. And on the multi-core, the Exynos 1000 had a score of 4250, which is higher than the Snapdragon 875 on both devices. So how did Samsung make such a big leap in just one year? Well, on its previous processors, like the Exynos 990, Samsung used two of its custom Mongoose cores, which were developed by its R&D team in Austin, Texas. These custom cores were designed by Samsung using ARM's architecture, which is great, but they had issues. They consumed a lot of power, which made the battery performance of Samsung's Exynos power devices terrible. They also produced a lot of heat and pretty quickly, which caused the processor to throttle. So it was terrible for heavy tasks, it heated up quite quickly and the battery performance was terrible. So Samsung got rid of its custom cores and decided to fully adopt ARM design chips. So they're gonna use the new Cortex-X1 and Cortex-A78. The Cortex-X1 is 30% faster than the Cortex-A77 and 23% faster than the new Cortex-A78. And thanks to Ice Universe, we now know that Samsung is also gonna use Qualcomm's 134 implementation which means there's gonna be one prime core, three high performance cores and four power efficiency cores. So if they're using the same implementation, why does Samsung's prime core perform better than Qualcomm's? My guess is Qualcomm isn't using the Cortex-X1 as its prime core, but instead a higher clocked Cortex-A78, just the way it has always been with its previous flagship chipsets. Anyway, it's still super early and this leak might not be accurate, so I would say take this with a grain of salt. Let me know what you think about the Exynos 1000 in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech related videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.